Pat Conroy. Today I'm going to show you Malaguena for acoustic guitar. Now the best about this is there's no fancy finger styles like it. no fancy runs, no difficult chords. It's really simple and it's done on the first three frets of the guitar. If you've been playing a few chords and you want to play your first solo, well then this is ideal for you. I have this Jim Dunlop capo on the third fret of the guitar. This is an acoustic guitar, it's a lag, and I got it from Walton's. Okay, now the tune itself I've broken down into 12 easy parts for you to learn, and the uh, tab will be available on my website. Okay, so I'll give you a little demonstration of the tune. <laughs> start off with part one now and don't forget our capo is on the third fret okay we play the third string and the fourth string for the E chord and the A5 chord and we chop them like this and then we play the E chord and we go move up to the B string We do the same as part one. For part three, we play the second string, the third string, and the fourth string. Then we play the B string with the first fret. So it's. Then we play the E chord again, and this time we move to the 4th string, the 2nd string, and the 3rd string. Then we play the E7 chord. Then the F chord. And we only go as far as the B string, the 2nd string, okay? For part 4, we stay with the F chord, and we play the 5th string, the 4th string and the 3rd string like this, then we play the 2nd string open, then we play the F chord again, we play the 2nd string, the 3rd string and the 4th string. We all 
also chop the E and the F chords. For part six, we play the same run again, and again we chop the E chord and the F chord, and we slow down coming towards the end of the run, finishing on the third fret of the fourth string. leads us into part 7 and we play from E to A minor starting on the 4th string like this for part 8 we start with the A5 chord and we play the 5th string, the 4th string and the 3rd string then the second string open, then the first on the second string, then the E7 chord. Make sure you play this note, third fret on the B string. Now that chord is the third fret on the B string with a little finger, the second fret on the third string with a second finger, and the third fret on the fourth string with the third finger. The F chord, you just go as far as the second string. Part 9, we hold down the A5 chord, then the E7 chord, then the E7 chord. is the same as part 6 and don't forget to slow down coming towards the end of the run and we finish on the 3rd fret of the 4th string. Part 11 starts off the same as part 7 going from E to A minor. we strum the E chord to finish. I hope you will enjoy learning and playing Malaguena. It will give you great fun and entertainment throughout the years. Okay, take care. Bye bye.